when I first pulled up with my mask on, that was just kind of a joke. Um, you see people driving their cars with masks on. And I'm wondering why. I mean, <laughs> there's way more than six feet between you and the car in front of you, hopefully, right? What's up, YouTube? Out and about today, doing a little shopping, and I think it's silly to wear a silly mask while I'm driving the car. I mean, don't you think? We're at Arby's with the classic beef and cheddar and a crispy chicken sandwich. Ooh, yummy. Let's, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, baby. A little bit of uh, horsey sauce on the side, some RB sauce. I'm gonna slide the seat back a little bit. Cause, uh, let's go with, what do you wanna eat first? The classic beef and cheddar, all time great. I mean, there was a time that Arby's wasn't the best, but now that they're uh, promoting that their meats are, we got the meats, I think they've really upped their game. Um, I mean, I'm talking before I even eat, but let's, you know, back in the 80s, you know, you get the gray roast beef, and I'm sure this is still not like the kind you get from a, a sub shop, but it's still, but. Still good, it's good stuff here. I don't see any cheddar coming through there. Let's open this bed, whoa, whoa, there we go. There we are. A little Arby sauce in the, whoops, I'm making a mess here. No, those are just seeds falling off, that's, that, that's all right. That's where all the calories are at, by the way, in the seeds. A little Arby sauce on that side, some cheddar on the other. I was gonna put some extra uh, horsey, uh, Arby sauce on, but I guess I don't need to. Mm. Yeah. I don't know what they do to make it taste so good, but this is some good stuff. But back when I was a kid, it tastes the same now as it did back then. Really good. I was here just recently, I got the, uh, the double, the half pound beef and cheddar. That was messy, man. It was good, but it was messy. This is a little bit more manageable. And two for $6, how can you go wrong? Mmm. Harley. Uh, sound effects by Harley Davidson, thank you. Uh, on the, the drive-up drive sign, it said uh, happy hour now at five o'clock. Right now it is 2.30. Uh, happy hour now to five o'clock and dollar sliders that's a pretty good deal I could have gotten I think I have seven different sliders on their menu uh, we could have tried them all that would have been a good video but I have to cook today I don't want to be uh, cooking and then eating with this you know seven sandwiches in my stomach you know so we'll do a small meal today two sandwiches in the small meal it's pretty big And uh want to give you an update here in New Hampshire. I had to do some grocery shopping today because uh went on low, went to Market Basket, and there was a line outside the door because they're only letting so many people, depending on the size of their store, in the store. And they put these little things for one way, this, and do not enter, and I didn't notice it until after I got through like a two a couple uh aisles of uh shopping. But luckily I was going the right way all along, so no big deal. So we did that. The line, went, the line outside was big, but it went it went really fast. Um, well, good thing about it was inside, it was it was easy to shop. There's not that many people in there. So good on you, Market Basket, for uh, you know keeping the keeping us safe, keeping the line short. Um, it just just things are kind of weird. It's a lot of during the week, it seems like it's kind of quiet. And if you could see behind me, I could see if the car's behind me in the rear view. Uh, the car's going by. It's kind of busy for, uh, you know, for what it is, you know. And, uh, you know, Monday through Friday, it's usually a little bit quieter. So I think even though people are, uh, they, I think they have their habits. You know, they go shopping on the weekends and they're still doing that, even though they could be shopping during the week because no one else is doing anything now. So, you guys, if you're smart, Shop on the weekends. I mean, I'm, I'm a knucklehead too. I'm shopping too, so. Mm.
I'm gonna open some napkins in here. Cause I, uh, oh my goodness. If you ask for the deal, the two for six deal, so you're like, ah, skip that guy. He's not getting no napkins. I got some of my own napkins on. All right, so what did I, I want to, to discuss with you guys? Um, yeah, got my market basket root beer. Two for five dollars. Uh, two for two for one dollar. Fifty cents. How can you go wrong? So this whole meal with tax, out of seven bucks. You know you can't go wrong with that. Um. Um. Oh. So yeah, I get the horsey sauce and the Arby sauce. You kind of make a little pile here and we'll dip it because. uh that's what I used to do when I was a kid. You got all these sauces, you gotta try them out, you know? And you're like, oh, let's see what that tastes like. So, we're gonna dip it. Oh my. That's getting messy now. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh messy. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's even better. Oh, so stinking good. Mmm. See all these people getting all angry about people <clears throat> wearing gloves, uh, like latex gloves, and saying, "Oh, that's so unsanitary. You're so dirty. You guys done nothing." All right, I wear gloves, and I clean my gloves. Like if I'm doing like one thing to another thing, I'll wash my hands. I wash my gloves, my gloved hand, like I'm washing my hands. So yeah, I'm still keeping things clean between different, um, I don't know, different um, chores, different things, different whatever. So I'm still, you know, as long, and, and, you, and your gloves are smooth, they're not porous, okay? So they're not, they're less likely and easier, they're easier to clean and less likely to pick up germs, okay? You, there's, no, there's no fingernail to clean under, there's no, um, you know, like ridges in your skin and stuff like that. It's smooth and silky, you know? it's It cleans so easy with a little bit of bleach, you know, a, a wipe or something like that. So, so bug off, you guys, with your complaints about gloves. I know it's none of you guys. People on Facebook. All these experts now, you know? Man. Have some beef and cheddar and chill out and be happy. Mmm. You know, the meal we're talking about. And it's, oh, next Saturday we're gonna do this great thing. And this has been like two or two weeks now. And I still haven't done it yet. Because one thing on the list I can't get. Another thing on the list, um, I think I think I can get it now, but the weather too. Uh, I'm doing some stuff with the outdoors and it's really windy and the audio is gonna be all, all you know, so. 25 mile an hour uh, winds this 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 weekend. So maybe next weekend. I don't know. No promises. All right, we're done with the uh, beef and cheddar. We're gonna try the crispy chicken sandwich. Uh, open her up. Take a look. See, get the paper out of there. Come on, guy. Let's be professional here. No paper. And we get the chicken with. A ring of mayonnaise. We got a tomato, lettuce. Chicken looks good. Looks a little uh, looks a little dry. Let's see. Let's hope it's not. It is. A little bit. Nothing a little abby sauce couldn't fix up. I mean abby sauce goes on everything. Now if, if it comes from Ivy, you can put sauce on it. You know? I wouldn't put it in your shakes. Pretty good. I think I've been spoiled because I went to Popeyes and had that chicken sandwich. Man, that was 
That was the best fast food I've ever had in my life, I think. I mean, maybe not my whole life, but that was some good stuff. And makes every other chicken sandwich you have afterwards not as good. But this is pretty good. It's got good, uh, this has got good flavor, good seasoning. It's just a little skinny, a little thin, and a little bit dry. But I'm eating the dry side first. We'll save the, the juicy, thick part for the end for our last bite. I guess uh, the mayonnaise, even though it wasn't that much on there, I put it on both sides. Even under the cell, under the uh, the shredded lettuce is also mayonnaise, so and that helps with the dryness of the chicken. So it's not, it's not inedible, it's just not great. And we're still on the really thin part. The, you know, it's like a quarter inch thick. When I first pulled up with my mask on, that was just kind of a joke. Um, you see people driving their cars with masks on. And I'm wondering why. I mean, <laughs> there's way more than six feet between you and the car in front of you, hopefully, right? Um, and I just can't see a way that you could get sick driving your car. And you, I mean, there's people that are driving by themselves. This isn't like a car full of, uh, like a like a bus full of people. This is just one guy driving his car with his mask on or her, her mask on. And uh, I mean, if you do, I'm not making fun of you. I just. I just don't get it. I think that your chances of getting a disease or whatever, it goes up much higher by wearing this moist, warm mask. That's like, when you try to colonize a, a germ or bacteria, you use a moist, warm environment in order to breed these bacteria, which is plural for bacteria, right? So it seems like these masks are just like a breeding ground for these things. So you're you're taking a chance, I think, making it worse for you by wearing a mask, especially in your car. Okay, I just think it's kind of it's 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 not needed. Okay. I mean, you can play by the play by the notion of better safe than sorry, and uh, more power to you. All right, let's try. Arby sauce, Arby sauce and horsey sauce again as a dipping compound. Okay. I mix them together. I just at first I put the horsey sauce down. I put the Arby sauce right on top of it, and then there we go. Yeah, and then the little a little dippy dip. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Gives it a little bit, little bit of tang right there, a little tang. It's good stuff. We are now at the thick portion of the chicken. It's less dry, but it's still, it's still a little bit dry. It's okay, Arby's. I'll throw you a bone. I'm coming back. I saw. This loaded french fry thing or something. It looked really good on the menu. Not good, good something. A lot of good stuff. And then two for six dollars, they had a chicken sandwich, the classic beef and cheddar, and a fish, a fish filet sandwich on the two for six meal. It's a good deal. That was good. All right, guys, that is it. Another delicious meal. Um, follow me on all the social medias, which I don't follow in. <laughs> Screw that. Um, like, share, and subscribe. You could do, do that. That's cool. That's good. Especially the subscribe thing. And the likes. I think that. Um, you know, like it, subscribe. That's great. Thumbs up, which is liking the same thing. And that's it. All right, guys. Love you. Bye-bye.